Next up is a feature that I call skid marks. Pretty much whenever you do a sliding tackle or a celebration that slides along the ground, you notice that you leave skid marks on the grass. You can see how the grass gets chopped up and you can see more of the mud or the dirt, whatever you want to call it there. And that stays on the pitch for the rest of the game. So if you do a lot of slide tackles, you'll see a lot of the grass get chopped up as you go along. If you play on old gen and you do slide tackles, you'll notice that nothing happens to the grass. There's no skid marks. The next gen version has better net physics as well. As you can see with these examples, when the ball hits the back of the net, you've got 3D nets and it looks very realistic, very nice. Different types of shot power and types of shots will affect how the net moves. So you'll see the ball pop out of the net sometimes or also stay in the net. But overall, the whole movement looks very nice. I took a look at the old gen version and the net physics are there, but they're not very good. You can see that there's better net physics when you play on the next gen platforms. Next gen has a feature called GPU cloth and it's sort of like a kit technology where as the player moves, you're going to notice more realistic movements in the jerseys and the pants. You can see it crinkle better. It's going to be more tighter to the player's bodies as well. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little feature, but it's just more of a visual thing. And then we've also got new lighting or upgraded lighting in FC24's next-gen version as well. It's called Feature Lighting, and you'll notice the difference here with these examples. So this is the previous version. Now we've got FC24, which looks a bit better. Things are more uh, colorful, more contrast, and maybe even brighter in certain elements as well. 